Hello class, uh, welcome to the concepts video for AS 91356 Conceptual Design. So today we're going to be talking about how to come up with concepts for your conceptual designs. So looking back at your Teams page and your eTransport, go back to your conceptual design book and open that up and we can look at uh, where to get started. Before we do that though, Back to the design process, so this is where we are currently, we've done the design brief, we've done our research and now we're up to our concepts. Once we've finished our concepts we're going to pick our best idea and develop that further and then we're almost approaching the end of the standard when we get to our final design. So if you guys remember from previous videos, uh, we have covered the brief, we looked at research and now we're up to the concept stage. So what you guys need to do is create a clear link um, back to your brief and your research. So your concept should be inspired by your research and then it should also relate to your brief. So the attributes you set for yourself. So if you look at my example here, I've said cost, um, the style and the forks are the highest priority. So when I'm sketching, I'm going to be thinking about making the style, the forks, and the cost um, the high, um, relate that back to those attributes. So my style, I need to sketch ideas that are inspired by a motorcycle design, and I need to show that kind of relaxed, low seat design, so that relaxed riding position. I also need to show um, custom-made forks. And I can't really show the cost at this stage, so I'm just going to ignore that part at, at the concept stage. Um, another high priority is strength and durability. So I need to show designs that show um, triangular shaped frame design for strength. So that was when I'm designing, I should be thinking back to my brief so that I'm making sketches that relate back to that. Your research, so you should have done um, three different examples. And you really need to um, be inspired by what you find. So you'll notice that this uh, Scout 750, my sketch work, um, this is really the starting point for my sketch work and it was inspired by this design. So this is my um, page of sketch, my page of sketches here. So all I've done is sketched on a piece of paper, photographed it with my phone camera and then I've emailed it to myself. And now I've got a digital copy that I've attached to this Word doc. You guys need to do the same or use a scanner if you've got one at home. So you can see I've got quite a few different concepts. They're all related to that motorcycle style frame design. Um, lots of them have the triangular um, triangular parts in the frame for strength. And some of them have got custom made forks. Uh, and you can see that I've put on the red, I've given each one a rating out of five, as in how many of the attributes does it meet. So this one here, for example, number one, is a chopper inspired design. I've given it a two out of five, and I've written a pin, uh, a pin analysis. So I said it's inspired by a chopper frame. It's it's uh, got a relaxed riding position, but I said it could be quite difficult to ride um, off road. So that's why I've given a low lowish rating. The ones that I've given the highest ratings are concept three, concept four. And concept five. So I've said that concept three, I've given it a four out of five, and I've said um, it's inspired. If I just zoom in for you so you can see, I've said that that's inspired by a Bobber motorcycle um, design, and that really meets that brief that I was going for. Uh, it's got a front light and it's got a nice curved frame that I find visually interesting. The top tube um, doesn't look quite right at this stage, but I think it's got potential um, as I develop it further. Now I showed all these designs to uh, my stakeholders, which you guys should do the same. You need to show it to both of your stakeholders. One of your stakeholders will be me, so you need to show me your designs. I'll give you some feedback. The best way to do that is to um, send me uh, a picture of your design work um, page by page on chat and they can give you much quicker feedback than by email or using the class notebook. So use that chat feature in Teams. So you can see my first stakeholder said she thinks um, 3, 4 and 7 meet the brief for style and strength. 
and she also thinks the tyres and custom forks uh, work well for the brief. So I've said as a summary um, exactly what my stakeholders said and that I'm going to combine concepts three and four because it relates to my motorcycle theme. It's got a relaxed road position, so I'm going to combine those two concepts into a developed idea, which is the next stage. So that's a good summary of what you guys need to do for your concepts if you're doing your custom bike. Now, if you're doing the go-kart, if you go back to Teams, uh, I've put up some resources for your go-kart go resources. So in here, your research for go-karts, you need to go back to number one, figure out what go-kart kit you'd like to buy, or work out you know, all the details around your brief, what size engine, etc. Have a look at the student gallery of previous examples. Read up on steering geometry, that's really your research. And then have a look at this concept example here. This is courtesy of um, Dave Dobbin. He's a teacher up in um, Bay of Plenty. So these are some has some concept ideas for go karts. So you see, you see, he's come up with three different ideas. Um, each one's quite different, and he's done a similar thing to what we talked about before, like a pin analysis. What he thinks is good about the design. What he thinks is negative. He's got feedback from his stakeholder for each idea and he's given each one a rating as well. So that's how you can approach the go-kart uh, concept design. If you're doing a um, e-bike design, you'll probably need to consider um, what kind of motor you're going to use, where your battery is going to go and your controller and make that part of the frame design. Um, any questions on how to do this? Um, please get in touch with me via the chat on Teams. Um, otherwise, the next video, we're going to be looking at how to develop your idea further.